Yeah. I'm not going to sing because he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Off Center Thoughts. I'm Lewis. Here's John, a new one. Chose missing again because that meth at his, addiction. his addiction to meth. He's just, he's struggling. He can't. Rehab has, didn't work, yeah. clearly. We asked him, like, we've trying to get him back, trying to get him sober. We've been on out a lot of times. We try to stay with him. He's had to stay over here a lot of the time. Yeah. It just, it's not the same. The worst was when we caught him in the alley trying to suck dick. It was weird. <laughs> it was his own, but it was still weird. At the end of the day, money is money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying yourself. <laughs> yeah, You're paying, paying myself, myself, baby. <laughs> suck my own dick. Get an injection of meth. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. We're so used to you not being here. We have to uh-huh. say. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have any jokes that. for new and being gone, so we just <laughs> ran with. Oh, the oh my bad. Uh, oh, my fault. Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new and new and is out. He has a show tonight. He says, you know that thing where we always make fun of him. He actually has to go be in a band. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got at the several ugly coyote shows. right now. Yeah. This actually, whole fucking month, he's busy. Yeah, it's like we're going on a fucking trip, and they said. Yeah, I got fun with that. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna. He was. I asked him about that. He said he's down for a midweek though. Oh yeah, for sure. We're gonna have to. Yeah. Have because to. we care. <laughs> Completely. For all three of y'all that are watching. <laughs> Thanks, Chunky. mom. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Chunky. Kimbo. Oh, Kim- Kimbo, because Kimbo's gonna be like, oh, so I'm not a you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, but uh, just fucking uh, like a week or so. Not even a week. Sometime during the week. Uh. These uh, streamers named uh, Foosley and Edison. I don't know if he streams. Oh, I heard. But about yeah, it. they it's ended up uh, di- breaking up. Breaking up. Oh, they, they were, were just engaged. They were engaged. Right? They weren't divorced. Yeah, they they yeah. weren't married. But I'm just like, that shit was crazy because like every like the whole fucking internet. Like if you just read the whole thing, you're like massive support. I'm like that's cool and everything. Yeah, I saw it on. I saw it through TikTok. Yeah. So I was just like, oh really? Yeah, because I, I don't. I don't keep up with that shit. Yeah, man. yeah. If I see it, I see it. But yeah. it's just like. Um, uh, like the it was the TikTok and like the title was you guys were supposed to be the ones that like you know grow old and get off the internet together. And I know, I was like, bro. I'm just like I was like, what? I'm just like, and the same thing was when like <laughs> Toast and the uh, ex Choco bars like oh got, Janet, yeah. yeah, Janet, they ended up splitting up. But I'm like, hello, hello. <laughs> no, but like me and John were talking about it. I'm like, where John was telling me that he kind of like it's crazy that like they had to wait so long. To like, well, you fucking say you said. Well, yeah, they talked about it and they were like, they had split up for a month or so, and then they finally announced it. And I was just like, bro, it sucks that the fan base. And I'm not saying that their fan base is toxic. I'm pretty sure they're, you know, we know that there's way more toxic fan bases, but like Like the pressure that the our fan that the fans put on a relationship is so bad that they didn't even feel comfortable to just say it when it ended. So imagine breaking up. You're going through the breakup process itself, but you have to pretend you're still together just yeah. so that you can appease For a whole month. y'all motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just like, uh, the whole goddamn thing made me think of just like the whole dating online yeah. concept. I'm just like, because again, we're not anything like crazy big at all. I was like, but it's fucking to not have to like feel very that pressure of not wanting to put your fucking relationship out there i'm just like chose the one that's been most vocal about like being with somebody because oh, i don't give a shit what yeah. they fucking say but that's but it is also different because she's not a personality no she's not she is very so, scared of i mean that, she's so. a person <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna watch this like all right yeah she's I'll one size. You shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't she she does not fuck around with the internet like that so but yeah, that's what I think that's the part that sucks the most is like no matter what, if you want to if you're a big content creator and you want to be at least somewhat public about your relationship, there's now an expectation from your fans yeah. about it. I'm just, just the, the the sense of like not like posting shit you want to post now because your figure is fucking crazy to me. I'm just like the whole like aspect of like not wanting to like be with any like put that relationship up there and like the strain that must fucking have to put on that relationship because of that shit yeah because imagine like say like we we got married or something like that and we continue doing your stream and you had an argument with your your so and you gotta like pretend you're not pissed off about that while you're streaming like imagine exactly. that and then like we're just all of us, our the... setups are in our room. Yeah. So imagine Hunger gets in the bed. She's just passive aggressively on TikTok <laughs> while you're fucking streaming. You're Loud like, as fuck. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, um, hey, honey, I'm streaming. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you <laughs> forgot my birthday again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
been two years. <laughs> but I'm just like the whole fucking. That's just just wild to me, bro. I'm just like I can't. I, I don't. I just. It makes me want to ask you a question, but it's a joke question. Go. Is this why you and Twitch didn't work out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Two personalities. Two personalities. <laughs> Twitch, you, you popped off too much, man. That's what happened. Oh, my God. Kim was going to have fun with that one. <laughs> nah, my bro. That was just the, the whole concept of, like, having... <laughs> imagine two... I don't know why, for, in my mind, as soon as I said content creator, imagine two content creators starting to date. <laughs> the talk, you know, like, for us is like, are we a serious thing or not? Mm-hmm. They're like, do we... Do we, we make a shake? Together? Do we make a shared Patreon? <laughs> is like, this a family this channel now? <laughs> do we need? <laughs> do, are we switching to vlogs? <laughs> yeah, I would never. I would never date a content creator in my life ever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind as long as they know. Like, I'm not gonna be that big of a personality on it. That's just it. No, uh, we get very chill vibes though. We're it's like, just. It's just because content creators is like, since they need to make money, they're gonna constantly think about shit to do i'm just like i'm not i can't do that yeah i'm a i'm a homebody i fuck on outside dude i'd rather stay inside all day yeah i mean i feel like it works for some content creators it depends on what content creator because there's been a few of them that that they're fucking married the whole time like isn't tim married yeah Yeah, but he was but his wife was before him yeah his wife never i don't think his wife ever came on the stream so are you saying shown yeah so are you saying show but she doesn't like She's not like everyone knows he's married, but no one like shits on him for it, or like tries yeah. to like get any more information because while she is shown, it's just like again they know it. that they they've seen his kid, they've seen his wife. Yeah, yeah but that's what I was gonna ask. Is, like, is that are you saying like you wouldn't want to date a content creator as a content creator, or you wouldn't want to date a content creator at all? At all, because I feel like again it really depends on the content creator. No, mine is like if they try to period. use you as like fucking. Not even use me. It's just like I'm I like, don't. I don't want to be anything. I don't like if they want to play games together, dude. If that game doesn't interest me, I'm not gonna play it. Oh, I see what you mean. If they want to go do shit outside, and it's fucking tedious or like shit, that's you what I'm saying. Shit, I, think I don't really want. I don't want to do it. Like all the off center or not all the, all the offline TV shit they do, like where they get together and play group games and shit. Mm. I don't care for it. I would <laughs> never. They well, don't get to know. They don't make their significant <laughs> others do it. Like the only couple that does it is fucking Lily and Michael, but that's because they're both <coughs> members. I know, of but the like if together. if I if I was a somewhat big content creator, if I was a big streamer and I it was with one of them, I'm sure they would ask me to do it. So this, uh, like hypothetically, like say we popped off. Motherfucker, we're in, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the top levels. We're, we're T series level. <laughs> and then homegirl Pokemon walks up and she goes, you know, boy, you kind of cute. You want to? No. And things start working out. <laughs> no. 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 I would, I would set it from the get go. I'm not doing anything. If I'm and gonna stream, and she's like, oh, that's fine. I, I really don't mean <coughs> to. Yeah, I just want to be in a relationship. As long as, as long as I'm not forced to do shit that I don't. As long as you don't become do. a prop. Essentially, yeah, I get what you're yeah. yeah, that's understandable. But the way like, initially when you were saying it is just like no, in general, because like well, also no to that. Like even if po- it, it, if it ever happened to where Pokemon even asked that, I would say no, just because she's not your fucking. Type. Well, her group, her her her, her <laughs> followers are just fucking bad shit just, crazy, bro. Yeah, I think any female follower, insane. like any female like content creator, because again, I d- I watch more Valkyrie now, but like <laughs> her like. She's still very friends with Sony. Yeah. And, like, the fucking, like, crazy, like, yeah. shit that they get. Because, like, I think she takes care of her his dog sometimes. And, like, they hang out. If they're dating, who fucking cares? Yeah. I was like, I don't really give a fuck. I'm not even Bro, watching her to, I'm like, sorry. know her like, life love, like that. I would, I would love to have that flex just for one moment. Just, like, why they're streaming. Just to be like, come on the camera. And just be like, oh, hey, honey. But Why? And just <laughs> oh, like, just to, just to <laughs> stir the pot, like go ahead. What are you gonna do? Talk shit about me online? I don't care. That's true. He's not even that cute. Why is he with your? Why aren't you with her then? If I'm not that cute, why can't you pull her? I'm just saying. <laughs> John wants to like. <laughs> just saying. John just wants to stir the pot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. And I'm like, if you if it causes like issues on her bag, I would I would feel bad. Yeah. But if I it's think just it, like that's the thing. If it was just a simple like they just get butthurt about it, uh, oh, fucking you know, bitches. That and I feel like it's because we. I feel like I personally ex- I have experienced that in real life, not even with a content creator. Like 
There's been genuinely dudes that have walked up to me and was ask, asked me how I got with my significant other. Like any previous significant yeah. other. And I was just like, because I treated them like a person. I'm like, whenever that ends up happening, I'm just like, you single? And they're like, yes. This interaction is why. You feel territorial towards your partner, and that's what's fucking it up. For if sure. you treat them as a person, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, you can pull a 10 and be a 5 or whatever the fuck if you guys get along. That goes back into, like, what we talked about, like, a while back where, like, there's, if there's, like, level, like, what the fuck is it? There's nuances in this No, 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 thing, not new. Uh, it's, like, to, like, somebody that's, like, hot or, like, what the fuck, rating or whatever? Yeah, the rating is just fucking... Uh, out of your league, if like people are out of your league, yeah, that's just I'm a just preference like, thing, dude. I'm like, it's more of like, it doesn't matter if like, I think New One was the one that was very like, no, there's like leagues, there's leagues. and like you have to like stay follow the rules, follow the rules kind of thing. I love that I'm saying it when he can't defend himself. <laughs> well, think about it. You gotta remember this. No one, no one's an alien. <laughs> He's got to stay in line. He's he can't stand out. You know what I'm saying? Because you know if he gets some eyes caught. You're going back home. I'm going back home. <laughs> and then the Civil War. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I haven't ended a while we, just, uh, we just start talking shit about Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that third world country. Yeah, New England going home, home. Yeah, <laughs> so that's why. The I, boonies. And even <laughs> the then, boonies. Even then, we've all made the, com- made the comment like, he's pulled higher tiers yeah. than, him, than what we would consider him. But that's not even like us shitting on him. That's just like we all said it like in our whole group. We have all. Had girls, whether we've gone with them or they've been interested in us, that we didn't personally expected them to. Yeah, but it's just it's mostly because we treat people like people, yeah. <laughs> no matter your fucking gender. Yeah, yeah. I keep. I, I think it's weird when I see um <coughs> like uh, uh guys are that like guys that do shit like um I mean so like with me and Tina I ask her like to let me know when she gets to wherever she's getting just so on one I know she got there safe and two. If anything does happen, You'll I can at least that, yeah. get get, uh, get there so I can help her with whatever. But like the fucking like uh, the super abusive type guys or like even the guys that try to feel territorial, like, you know, don't have a guy best friend or don't do shit with other guys. It's don't, like, do, don't wear this. <laughs> yeah. It's like at that point, you're just. I feel like you're that just, person is just very insecure. Yeah, yeah. At that point, you're himself. just insecure, uh, like on yourself and about your your, your entire relationship. Yeah. Well, I will like, say, if they uh, have a guy best friend and the guy best friend's giving those vibes, and you mention it to her, and she doesn't care, then that's kind of toxic. Is it? On her but part. W- when it comes to the guy best friend, is it more like if they've known each other before, like we got together? I can understand that. And again, I, even if they had those, it's like, not even like the even if they had those feelings, in my opinion, it's yeah. kind of like. Yeah, but this is your timeline. This is my timeline. You done fucking had more time. Yeah, and clearly and again, there's I'm no not, like. I'm not one of those no persons that's like, oh, they hug and like they're very affectionate to each other. They treat each other like almost like siblings or something like that. I don't care about that. But when the guy is clearly making those comments, or like he like he you know like the demeanor is starting to come off competitive or whatever. That's when I'm just <laughs> the like, chat energy's coming out. Yeah, that's when I'll be like, yo, he's kind of like throwing the vibes off for me like it's fine if you guys want to hang out and i trust you because ultimately you're gonna have to trust your partner Mm -hmm. but i don't really vibe with him and i i personally would like to be cool with your friends as your partner that that's how i would approach it Mm -hmm. but there's been like straight up i've seen it happen where like it's the simp nature of some dudes they'll fucking stick there they'll be friends with the girl for the long haul and it's that whole idea of like, no, nah, she's out of my league, but I still want to. Be I know her. what you mean. Yeah. And I'm just like, I've met those kind of dudes and I've actually seen girls do that. And it's just like, yo, you're toxic. Don't do that. Like, if you want to be friends with them, be friends with them. But that's it. Like, the keep it on the low. Don't start throwing shade at their partner. Because then I seen them like the, the actual relationships be ruined by their friends. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, I've had it where like I had a dumb. close friend in the in the past where like we had to like stop talking or being friends because she got in a relationship so i'm just like i get it i'm just like and i'm like look if you feel like that person like to me it's just like if that person feels very uncomfortable that you're friends with me and he wants you to be with, like he wants you to be very like with segregated uh, and from like me. segregated from me and at the same time you're okay like you you i see that you really want to try this thing with this person 
I'll fucking start yeah. xing myself out because I'm just like it's not. It's, that, that's that's a good friend approach. Again, that a good friend when if you're opposite gender and your partner starts being or even same gender, but like you know, once they get in a relationship and they're they're clearly their partner's uncomfortable with the boundary, you should have the foresight to be like, I should kind of distance myself, not like completely stop talking to her, but just respecting the boundary. But there's been dudes that just like you're not even stepping past the boundary. You just straight up on the other side. That line you made is, a house. You bought property over there. You done paid property taxes and everything. You're adding a patio in the back. You <laughs> just done past the boundary a long time ago, man. And they're just like, "No, I deserve it because I've known her longer." I'm like, "No, you don't. You don't though." I'm just, I just don't get when people are just very much defensive on like their significant other talking to another person especially if that person is like not done anything yeah to like show anything i'm just like look i get it if you're that kind of person it is what it is i feel like you need to like work on yourself before you fucking do anything but uh, some people just uh, you have this issue nope (laughs) i let tina do whatever the fuck she wants i don't really give a shit as long as i know she's safe so has that been like an issue in like uh the past while you were together oh yeah in high school, definitely. Oh, like the beginning I was friends with one. I was I wasn't really friends, but I did talk to another chick that I did like in middle school mm-hmm. and like I think in freshman year, and that caused a lot of fucking issues. Bro, I got shit by one of my girlfriends in high school because I like this is the most fucking random thing. I think we we're gonna go play the fucking you know that shit when we uh walk from center to fucking Nimitz homecoming. homecoming? And then I don't fucking remember what it's called. But we were walking, and then prior to that, uh, a tuba player, she ended up coming and like talking to me, and like I said some like like not even like on some like like me flirting shit, just on like some like fun funny shit. Where like I think I like I busted her chops, and then I don't know where and she's like pissed at me. I'm like what the fuck? And then afterwards she's like, "Well, you over here talking to her?" Like I'm just like, "What the fuck was this?" Well, that's security <laughs> on her part. I thought you were gonna mention the other fact <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> that significant other and another friend she had the name oh yeah i could that's hilarious. yeah i couldn't call one of my girlfriends her name because she had the same name uh, as a friend that uh, yeah, yeah. i was, was a female, female friend with and i'm just like bro i mean i get it and i'm like i don't but i'm like <laughs> you do what you want to do yeah. i remember i did you're what- saying her name that's your name too <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? but you're thinking of her <laughs> how do you know <laughs> I would, I, if it was me, it I'd be fucking with her all the time. Like, am I though? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But am I? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a three lot strokes. More <laughs> three strokes. I'm like, no, no, no it's only you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, raise the eyebrow. Is it? <laughs> yeah, but, and uh, yeah, in, in terms of like, even even if I wasn't dating Tina, I really don't give a shit. If, I mean, if they end up fucking, like, you know, fucking me over, then they end up fucking me over, but. You have to have that, like, trust on, like, your significant yeah. other yeah. that they weren't going to do anything. Yeah. I'm just like, motherfucker. And it's just like, if you can't build that, like, trust between somebody. I'm like, even when, like, I got with somebody and we only lasted for, like, a fucking month. I, if she wanted to go fucking fuck off and, like, go do something with her friends. And, like, if there was a guy there, like, a group of dudes there. I'm like, I have enough, like, trust in you and respect that you will respect me. And I, like, you ain't going to do some shit. And if shit pops off. You'll let me know. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I I would say in the group of us, I'm probably the most possessive boyfriend. But even then, mm. I'm like, I, tr- <laughs> oh, you don't have to, we already do. <laughs> yeah. I, again, I probably, I'm not ashamed of it, but it's not a, a controlling aspect. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> motherfucker I love over more. Here, motherfucker over here. Every, every event we have, why are they always matching? I wonder why. <laughs> I know she oh, didn't think like, of this. <laughs> I, oh, I just like coordinating club colors. I think it's cute. I don't give a fuck. If they, do, if they really don't want to wear the same color as me, I won't get mad. I'll just be like, oh. It was a New Year's fucking get together with just us. <laughs> These motherfuckers on the nine. <laughs> just on the same. I was like, all right. <laughs> I see your vibes. <laughs> So, yeah, if you ever want to date me, you're going to have to buy clothes that match my clothes. <laughs> it's getting to the point where Tina's trying to make me match her style, which is fine. But but again, it's it's fine if they want to if they want to coordinate colors. I will say it's a no, no. If y'all are wearing the same clothes. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, like matching no. T-shirts. I'm Mat- here with stupid. <laughs> like, that shit is fucking cringe. 
But if you're wearing like homeboys wearing a black hoodie and you're wearing a black dress or, you know, wearing black, nice dress clothes and you're wearing a black dress, that's fine. Fuck it. Yeah. Cool. I don't care. I think it's I would cute. just say like even then I'm just like when it goes to like matching styles, I'm just like me in the middle. <laughs> I was just like, chose hard. I'm just like, the middle's just all flip flops. <laughs> now, yeah, me in the middle, but also be aware that you don't have to match styles all the time. If y'all are just going to get like some fuck, fucking let a motherfucker wear shorts and hoodie. Bro, let me wear my fucking bright ass orange fucking sweats <laughs> with a pink ass hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, in terms of that, like. <clears throat> this motherfucker not understand the wheel of color. <laughs> she She already understands that. If we're going out somewhere super casual, I'm not going to dress up. Yeah. So I'm always just going to wear flip flops. But anytime we do end up going somewhere casual, I'll try to dress up more. She always has a pair of shoes that are always nice. And I'm just like, it's because he doesn't wear shoes. He never wears it. That's why it's, it's always, always clean. a flippy flop, dog. Yeah. Like, I want to test that theory by making him wear, like, buy him white shoes. Like, all I know. White they're, shoes. they're always pristine. And then, like, three or four years later, they're going to just be, like, pure white still. <laughs> oh, that'll probably be semi dirty. No. I mean, <laughs> how often you wear shoes? No. True. Yeah, I mean, if the only times I really wear shoes is one if I have to, or two if I'm gonna go work Bro, out. Bro, wearing flip flops to me is just like I, even when I wear like slides, I have socks. I'm just no. like I feel very weird having my feet exposed. No, but like not even because I got the super crazy ass tan because I work outside. But I'm just like it's just these feet are for significant others only. <laughs> no, I, I, I these just, crusty ass feet is for them. I just wear them because they're comfortable. Bro, my family freaked out because they saw that I had like a, a slide tan line on my le- on my feet now. And oh, they're just the, like you're the going, line? yeah, the actual line from the slide. And they're just like, you go out in public without socks. I'm like, no, it's because when I sit in the garage to smoke, the sun's just on my foot. See, <laughs> so but, it's just that part. But <laughs> even when I'm at home, I still wear socks with slides. I feel very weird wearing. Well, I don't wear socks at home because carpet. I would still wear socks. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I no, dude. Even even uh, I've worn slides a few times. I just wore them without socks i just always thought it was weird that people wore socks with slides really like just, yeah never well, i find it the opposite way the, and the like if you're going out to like the to the beach or the pool yeah don't no. fucking wear socks you're kind of a weirdo no but that's the only time i find well, it acceptable. originally re- realized before it started becoming like a fashion thing originally it was because like most athletes wear their shoes super tight when they're playing so they want time for their feet to like actually stretch out but Brief. they don't want to take socks they don't want to take their socks off so they just after they're done playing, yeah, they I'm just, just slide athletic. No, oh, fuck that, bro. Because <laughs> I used to do that when we would play basketball. I would wear slides. I just want to look like I came after. out of the gym <laughs> with no progression. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, I've, 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 I've always thought it was weird. So even if I did end up wearing slides, I would still wear it without socks. That's so fucking weird to me, bro. No, it's weird for me that people wear socks with slides. It's I do just, both. Like, well, why though? It just no, it just looks dumb. It just looks weird. Like, why? It depends on the situation. I do both. No. no like, plus, At I got home? sweaty ass feet. Feet. Yeah, I, I got guess. sweaty ass feet too. That's so why I'm I don't like, wear you, I feel why. the, I feel the like, the the pool, the the pool and the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want that, bro. I mean, I get sweaty ass feet like, too. That's, that's Nguyen's uh, band's new album, Pool in the Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> pool in the plastic. <laughs> pool in the plastic. <laughs> yeah, like even through all that high school, I just wear flip. Or actually, my senior year of high school, I just wore flip flops like every day. I mean, I always got sh- I got shit from it from one, one teacher specifically. And it was the R junior, <laughs> the junior uh, fucking ROTC teacher. Oh yeah. Every time, dude, they'd always try to give me shit. It's like, you know, this is against this uh, code of conduct. Like, well, good thing I didn't fucking sign it. <laughs> and then they're like, you know, I'll tell the principals like I've walked in front of the principal like seven thousand times. I'm an I office like aide. He <laughs> sees me like every other fucking day. I feel like all the other teachers didn't want to say anything because they're like, could we be called racist for this? <laughs> Hey yo, Asian boy, <laughs> take the flip flops off. Yeah, like, what'd just, you say? Hey yo, ooh, so dumb. <laughs> like I just walk. Like he, the the principal saw me every other day because of fucking office aid. So and he wouldn't say anything. Like I would A have my feet say. like out, and he just wouldn't say shit. But that's the only I teacher like that would always that say shit when they just like and he would say something if he saw you do the whole kicking it down the hallway know. thing. <laughs> oh, he like, probably hey, would, but I yeah. I did that because I, I was bored of shit, bro. I fucking hated like when. Not a teacher, just someone that's like an adult that was in fucking school wanted to like just flex power. I was like, bro, chill. Yeah. I remember I, they like tried to take my my MP3 because I was it was before fucking school started. Yeah. I'm walking to the fucking band hall and there's just uh, Peter Griffin. He's yeah. like, oh, just gets in front of me. I'm just all right. <laughs> I try to go around and he just tries to block me. He's like, you can't have that. I'm like, 
school hasn't started. Yeah. It was like, you can have that in, in the premises. So we went to the place where you have to, like, drop it off and then pick it up, like, after a certain amount of time. Yeah. And then she was just like, she, like, grabbed it, and then she's like, wait for him to leave. And then she gave it back. Yeah. She was just like, he does this all yeah, the time. The teachers that tried way too hard and the security guards that tried way too hard were fucking in. I mean, Peter Griffin never gave me any shit for wearing flip-flops. He just, he just didn't Again, fucking do Again, scared. cultural. He's scared. <laughs> like, I don't even think it was a culture thing. I think it's just like they knew I was a senior. At that point, they're like. I was too. They were just fucking. Up. I mean, dude, guys, no one fucking gave me shit for wearing headphones. No one gave me shit for wearing flip flops. Like, I did not. Like, my senior year, I did not get in trouble by a single teacher outside of the ROTZ teacher. I didn't get in trouble like that much. It was just that one time. And I was just like, it's just the oddest fucking thing. And I was like. I think I was just like, bro, re- I was I was just very like, I ended up being like that. And he was like, really, dude? Yeah. Really? I was just yeah. like, of all fucking like times to like be like, don't do this. Yeah. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think I think out of the, the few times I've seen the ROTC teacher, he's given me shit twice. Once was in the halls and the second time was when I actually had to go take a slip of paper to their classroom full of the fucking like ass kissing fucking students. So, like, when I got there and I was like, oh, hey, I need this is for, you know, whoever, whoever. And we actually fucking, uh, should, should I just say his name? No. No? Well, we, I mean, the, the, uh, the guy we, uh, we all knew. We, yeah. Uh, we know. Yeah, steroids? Know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, he was in that class and then the ROTC teacher was like, you're not supposed to be wearing flip flops. And every single fucking student in that class was like, ooh. You're, I was like, <laughs> and I just looked at him and was like, I was like, okay. Girl the fuck he was up. like, and he's like, you better go put some shoes on. I was like, nah, no, I'm good. And he's like, well, I'm gonna go report you to the, the principal. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. And then I just gave him a slip and I fucking walked out. But it was just annoying that every single student in there was like, oh, you're gonna be in trouble. And then even the steroids guy was like, he's like, oh, Cho, how could you do that? Oh, how you signed? Oh, really? Co- yeah. And I was like. I was like, I didn't even sign it. I stopped signing it freshman year. Like, I stopped giving a shit. No one cares. Like, they don't. They don't write that shit down if you if you haven't signed it or not. They don't ask you after the first week. It's hilarious that Royds is very the one that like did that when his ass was like fucking doing some shit that you could literally not do, fucking trying to climb to the roof. <laughs> Yeah, it was just, oh, yeah, you it, did do that. It was just mad at no, annoying. wait, wait, no, no, you're mi- you're confusing steroids, not oh that steroids, the other steroids. Tear ducks. Oh, oh, boy. okay, then that makes a shit. Special K. Like, yeah, Special K. He makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. What special? What the fuck? When did this become a thing? Special K. Special K. Uh, the person he was obsessed with. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh. Okay, I didn't make that. You ended up calling her like, Special K, and then the yeah. other chick he supposedly liked M and M's. Yeah. Called her M and M's. She was actually pretty K. cute. Motherfucker, we have a track record of like some really. Y'all clearly talked no. about him way more than me. I don't remember this. The <laughs> Adventures of Flappy Flaps and Lim- I know that <laughs> that was, but that's between us two and our significant our old significant. They others. didn't know. <laughs> no, they knew. They knew. We were in it. I didn't know they knew. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like these motherfuckers are stupid. If y'all want to know about that, I'll let John <laughs> proceed. No, I was gonna <laughs> say y'all want to hear a uh, uh, one of the times a teacher tried to forced their power on me and it ended up being like the dumbest thing like it, way Daniel. worse than the, e, the mp3 <laughs> and Joe, the fucking show all this handy might cry <laughs> no it's not it, I'm, no so like it was fucking elementary school and i'm like i think it's third or fifth grade it had to be one of those two and the gt teacher was kind of a head ass kind mm-hmm. of woman I, to put it blunt she was a cunt mm. she felt like she was fucking more better than everybody because she had the same students from like third or fourth grade all the way till like the end of elementary school so she was like i'm their mother but she was like she looked like she's on uh she would belong on one of those uh episodes of over 30 or <laughs> over 300 oh. or, that's the kind of twat she looked like and we had a fire drill and my class was one of the last class like my class was like line was right next to the gt class mm-hmm. and it was me and a couple of my homies we had like our teacher had gave us a bunch of like fucking gum like the actual like ballpark ones yeah. and shit oh, like yeah. that and i don't know if this happens to you guys but when y'all i chew gum i like produce way too much saliva oh you spit yeah and then we're outside on concrete like oh, the God. basketball court and me and my friends were like bro our, i'm like bro i have too much spit in my mouth and he was just like just spit it out and i was like ah, okay and i just spit and he was like i need to spit too so we, he spit 
It was literally that close of an interaction. That's how, and it's just because both of us happened to spit at the same time. And she turned around. She's like, you guys are disgusting and disrespectful. And we're just like, what the fuck? When we're in the very back of the line. <laughs> her class has fucking eight kids. Like, and our class had 20. So we were nowhere close to her kids. It wasn't even looking like we're spitting on anybody. Yeah. We legitimately, she straight up after the fire drill made us go inside and grab paper to wipe up our own spit. What the fuck? And then when we walked back into our class, it was, it, yeah, it was fifth grade because my my fifth grade teacher was a big black dude. He was like, where the fuck were y'all at, essentially? And we were like, we have to go wipe spit from the sidewalk. And he was like, why? Because Miss Blankety Blank said it. And he was just like, class, we're not having science class right now. I got to go. <laughs> and he just went down there. He was like, are you, you fucking deserve- kidding me? <laughs> he, he, said, he straight up he said, are you kidding me? He's like. I get it. You're an authority, but that is just too much. And then we were all like, looking Ooh. through the door. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> he was like, I get that you feel like you have no control at home or something like that, but these kids just spit on a sidewalk outside. Calm down. And then he proceeded to walk back to the classroom. We're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember that happened to me. Uh, it was actually our senior photo. Fucking! I remember I, I was chewing gum and I spit it on the on the ground, right? And it wasn't even a teacher; it was another student that tried Wait, to. Wait, no! I knew me. where we took our, our, our photos. That was inside. <laughs> no, our senior pictures. There were outside. Oh, you're talking uh, about the, the group, the group, the group senior, one? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like right after those, I I was chewing gum and I spit it out on the ground, right? And I was about to walk back, and another student he was a, he was on the football team tried to check me. He's like, "No, that's disrespectful shit. Pick that shit up." And I was like. I was like, first of all, I, I don't give a f- gum. I would, I understand a little, but bit it's not gum. like you know. Like but it was, it was that someone might. But step you know, on when we, no, when it was, we spit, it was you spit it, you spit it, it the was, fuck away. Yeah, from it people. was like next to like a sewer. So like, the the, the chances I, I of like it. people trying to fucking walk over because it's like the sewers right here. The gum was like near the end of the, like the little curb, the divot. Where the water's gonna rush down and go in the little bit of rain, right? that shit go. I mean, yeah, and I, then he tried I, to power I, I, check I, I, me, and I was like, I don't think he should check you. Obviously, he's like, no, you're disrespecting extra. Nimitz, blah blah blah. And I was like, bro, oh, what I was the like, fuck? Was like, first of all, I don't give a fuck okay, about yeah, Nimitz. Yeah, so if you that. really care about that, you can fucking pick it up. Other than <laughs> that, I'm fucking going back inside. And he's like, nah, pick the shit up before I beat your ass. And I was like, dude, I would love to see you try to beat my ass. And at that point, he just stopped talking. The Korean hate the job. At that point, he stopped talking. He was like, you better pick that shit up. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And I fucking walked back fully expecting to get hit in the back of the head and you didn't do shit. And I was just like, man, I was like, don't, I don't fucking try to like I've had fucking. People that that shit yeah, too. Don't try to power play me like that. I'll fucking call your shit out like real quick. Don't yeah. even fucking try. Like that shit was the most annoying thing. Like outside of the fact that we got to skip some like classes because we had to take those photos. That shit was dope. That was like the most bizarre experience. And I actually, I like, I didn't like, I wasn't friendly with him, but me and him were like, you know, like we were acquaintances. Like we did talk every now and then and we had some classes. Oh, you and him actually like knew each other. Yeah. And, but he was like, he tried to power check me and I'm like, don't, don't try to fucking like show you have a bigger dick in front of your friends. I really don't give a shit. Like, don't, don't try to do that shit to me. As a sneakerhead stepping on gum, worst thing ever. So I kind of it was, first of all, cheap ass school. No one got shoes like that. (laughs) Yeah. No. Yeah. Was I, very remember, I remember seeing some kids that had it like that, but well, congrats. But if you're if you're wearing you know fucking three hundred dollar pairs of shoes at a fucking shit school, that's entirely on you. <laughs> I don't really don't give a fuck. So again, that's what I'm saying, gum. But when you said disrespecting the school, come on, man. Dog, motherfuckers like, be blowing each other in the back of the school. That's a little more disrespectful. Yeah, we, we, we you think a, you're mad? You mad about gum? They're spitting children on the sidewalk. Get the yeah, fuck bro, out of here. We we are not a prestigious school, my guy. <laughs> we we are literally. Several miles away from the fucking dump. All right, the dump is like the clearest view from the back of our school. We are not a prestigious school. You there was not... two shutdowns for two fucking paintball guns. Yeah, like you do not, you not about to power check me over some fucking gum on the ground, man. And Fuck then, you. And then the, yeah, so I remember that I was talking about that fucking old like shutdown. There was a shutdown because they fucking somebody had like a paintball gun that looked like a real one, and they actually found a real gun oh, in yeah, someone yeah, yeah, else's yeah. car. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, like I remember. Oh, um, shit. I think it was a. It was a fucking. It was one of those like redneck white yeah, boys yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, it was his oh, truck. They, they checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, wait, they that. have the rights to check your cars. Well, mm-hmm. I think at that point they have the rights to check anything because you're, the, the you're thre- in the school. Yeah, yeah the threat of a, of a of a weapon on premise I think gives them the gives them the power to start checking vehicles and shit. I'm bringing in a dog. In, uh, they're like they get to our uh, like if we actually parked cars. They get to my car. They're like this motherfucker has a lot of napkins. Goddamn. 
I'm like allergies. Mine just be fucking full of bottles, water no, bottles. No, bro, mine's fucking <laughs> Chipotle <laughs> bags. Crushed water <laughs> just, bottles in the just back. Just like fucking food that I finished yeah. during lunch. Yeah. I was like, don't go in my car right now. I Dude, that to- was <laughs> also that was a cringy tradition that we had at our that school was the parking lot fucking paintings and shit. Didn't they they cut that off when we started, oh, right? Paintings. Yeah, seniors that? were when they had a parking spot, they were allowed to decorate their parking spaces. That with, uh, is, uh, it was so n- cringy. They Not stop- a straight thing is what I was gonna they, say. They they stopped that for us. For Nimitz specifically, I think our sophomore That's year. Fucking lame. Yeah, because I remember shit. I my oldest sister was had a parking spot and they were like why don't you paint it and she's like why would i paint it because like the worst thing is i found this i found this out you have to clean it yourself at the end of the year mm-hmm. yeah and i was just like bro get the fuck like, why? because it's gonna rain <laughs> yeah that's why most of the seniors at or at least my freshman year when they were allowed to do it they did it with mostly just chalk yeah so like it shit just, was gone so like, it was gone within like the end of the week it's so dumb and then they, they, the the it was just a, a <laughs> chance for like fucking the upper class kids to flex on the lower class kids because they would get there like hella early with like actual paints and stencils and shit and do these elaborate designs just so you can park your fucking car on it Where and never no one's see, it. see it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, I'm like, bro. Wait, but we. I didn't know there was a, a sign parking in. Nimitz. It was a sign. Yeah, there is. It was a sign. I thought it was park. like you just had to park at a certain spot. Well, I think you, it, no, yeah, it was like a, you had to either park in the seniors west had or first choice. Yeah, but west. like you didn't have a specific parking spot. Uh, no, uh, so our freshman and sophomore years when they got rid of it, but before you remember the portables, the mm. two front rows were all seniors, and then everything else is free range. Uh, and then the side ones, but on the driveway up. That's all for teachers. And then the same thing for the east side was the s- closest one to the buildings for the teachers. Certain rows were for the s- the s- seniors, and then mm. everything else is for everybody. Oh, yeah, I, I just remember a lot of the seniors not parking on campus and then getting tickets for it. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I remember the uh, the uh, on, on, like, the on-site like police officers would... Uh, like track who would walk. Yeah, track who would walk if they parked their car and give them You tickets. know how you could get away with that? Tell them you're going to get them something to eat. <coughs> And they would immediately. St- I remember it was. I oh yeah, no, I actually one. remember that too. It was this dude that I was in science with, and like the uh, this other guy. Like we, we were acquaintances with him. I was acquaintance. He knew him more. And then he was just like, "Y'all want to go fucking to get a slushy at a Sonic?" And we we're just like, "Yeah, fuck it," because it was like we were seniors, and we're like there was nothing to fucking do. Yeah. It was around the end of the year, like where yeah. like, you didn't have fucking shit to do. So we go, we get in his car, and we drive the fuck over there. We get it, and then we're coming back, and then. <laughs> I thought he was getting like an extra drink for like his girl or whatever. Yeah. Like, no, he was just like, yeah, it's for the, <laughs> it's for the, it's for the, it's for the security guards that work the, uh, the posts that like where they can't let you leave. Yeah. yeah. If you, as long as you said, as long as they were like given food, they, they'd be okay. Food or like, anything. Some of them knew the people that left yeah. campus fairly frequently. So they'd ask like, are you going? So like, could you give me this? And they're like, yeah. They, yeah, they, started they giving knew money. him. They knew yeah. him. They were just like, it's like, you know, you have to stop. And then as soon as he like brought the drink out, she's like, don't do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was great. Dude. Bro, there were so many fucking like just loopholes. That you can get away with. That's, that's also like that joke that, or like the conversation that we had a long time ago, like how our generation was like one of the last generation that gets things like oh, that. Yeah, tax. Tax was one. Yeah. The or, test. Like, yeah. or the fact that we could buy cigarettes at 18 because we that had a secure. Yeah. Had, that shit tripped me when like uh, we would hang, like be around people that were like not. 21 yet and, and they, they were, were smoking like, and they couldn't buy cigarettes oh yeah oh yeah that too yeah yeah, yeah. and like, it's because i remember the other school that i went to one of the i think it was our french teacher and then one of the security guards were smokers but they were like very good at hiding it until you got near to them and you're like <laughs> oh damn boy <laughs> <laughs> but like a whole fucking newport so like and they always, the French teacher specifically, always parked on a certain part of the parking lot. So a lot of the seniors that did smoke would park with him. And then after school, like once, like pretty much most of the teachers were gone, they would all go outside and smoke. You with the teacher? With the teacher. Yeah. And I was just like, he was a French man. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid school. Don't Dude, let you homeboy smoke. Was, home, <laughs> homeboy was cool though. He was a little weird, but he was cool because uh, he uh, he was divorced. <laughs> I find I, he's wearing a striped shirt and a fucking uh, no. F- that's fun. the best Beret. thing. Motherfucker was like from Tennessee and moved here <laughs> with his wife or whatever. So he's like the most like country dude. He had like the the southern drawl, but then he can speak fluent French. 
Uh, Off for the for my. And then I was like, bro, why'd you learn French? He was like, because I met, he was like, I learned French in college as a passing, like, a, you know, an elective or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's where he met his wife. Mm-hmm. And then they did. Um, oh, hold on. I need to go take a, a shit. <laughs> okay. But he, uh, he, they went, they studied abroad in France and that's where they fell in love. Yeah. It's like a super cute story. That's why he makes it way better. They're divorced now. Boy, <laughs> hella bitter. But he brings it up. Almost, he brought it up almost every other week. He'd be like, he's like, uh, like one time he taught his be- like the word bed. And he would like do hand symbols so that mm-hmm. you can remember it better. And he was like, Lily, you know, where certain people lay together. I'm like my fucking wife. <laughs> <X-Y>. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> or then he was or like, there was one day he was like, he came to school chipper and everybody's like, Oh, it's cause of payday. Huh? He's like, why would I be excited? About? And that, that, that's when his happiness disappeared. Right. He's like, why would I be excited about payday? Uh, and we're just like, it's half gone. <laughs> he's like, do you know, by the time it hits my bank, it's already gone. Cause that bitch took my money. <laughs> and, we're just like, and this is when I'm a senior. So I was like, he was cool with cussing around yeah. me. And I was just like, dude, I'm scared to be around you. He's like, why? I'm like, you just suck out love from anything. <laughs> like, because you remember, <coughs> my baby mom and me were together. Yeah. She had him too. Yeah. And he loved her. And then he found out I was her baby daddy. He was like, how? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you're the fucking laziest person, most non fuck given person ever. And she's the sweetest girl ever. And you guys have, are having a baby. I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you think it'll work out? I was like, I think. He's like, good answer. I was like, why? He's like, don't be too sure. <laughs> I was like, why? And I was like, why? He's like, just because there's a baby doesn't mean she can't rip your fucking heart out. And I was like, Dude, it's so fucked up. <laughs> so it was hard to do. No, and was then, it a fresh divorce? That, uh, that's the thing. was the funny part. I asked him. He was like, no, we got divorced when I was 37. And I was like, how old are you now? He's like, 50. And I'm like, bro. Jesus. Get over it. And he's like, nah, I just like making fun of it. I don't uh, really care. He's, he was living his bachelor life. He was like, honestly, after, he was like, obviously, you're butthurt about it for a while. And then he was like, I think it was around the seven year mark. I was just like, I don't have to worry about another person's opinion anymore. Bought himself like a bunch of classic old cars. He had like a. Oh, nice. Um, a fucking old Stingray that was a convertible. He would just Ooh. drive. He lived And he lived in South Irving. Like by yeah. Nimitz, so like every once in a while I would bump into him. He's just like cruising around. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, bearded dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he taught at my school. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was a teacher. He has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. He's a teacher, and I was like, bro. And then the best thing was, I think it was like around the time I had to do science bowl or whatever. I was hella stressed around that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in. <laughs> That's what the fucking shit is it. My bad. I, I was hella stressed. Joe got him into his cocaine addiction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. That's how I caught him in the alleyway. I was there also. <laughs> I was like, you could do that? <laughs> but uh, he was, uh, I was hella stressed because, like, obviously, baby on the way, fucking yeah. all this shit. And I was like, at that point in time, I had smoked cigarettes every <laughs> once in a while. And I, I just told him, I was like, bro, I just am done with life right now. And he was like, you want a cigarette? And I was like, I don't smoke. And he's like, okay. Right. right. He was like, you know, he didn't do the whole right thing. He was like, okay, fine. Works for me. And I was like, what do you smoke though? He was like, marble, marble light. I'm like, my dad smokes those. He was like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> he's like, buddy. He, he, I think at that point he was like, I think he knows he has smoked. And he was like, yeah, I used to smoke marble reds. And you, as both of us being smokers, yeah. we all have the same reaction as soon as someone says that. They're like, I used to smoke Marble Reds instead. We all go, mm. And I instinctually went, mm. And he went, got you. <laughs> Come on. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I want to go home, too. I'm I'm hungry. And so we're walking out, and we straight up had a cigarette together. And I was just like, this is so fucking weird. Again. Having those situations with teachers? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Because And again, it was, he offered it. And then I was like, isn't that, can't you get in trouble as a teacher offering it to a student? He's like, you're 18. It's legal. And I'm like, bro, now kids will never have that interaction. That experience? Ever. And I had another teacher there. He was a science teacher. He lived apparently like two houses down from one of our old homeboys. We played poker with him once. Like we came over to his house to gamble 
And the motherfucker actually wanted to put real money halfway through. <laughs> like, he, he, straight up said, he straight up said, boys, pull out your college money because y'all ain't going to use it. I've seen your test score. <laughs> and we're just like, bro, he, he's in on us. And he did not give a shit. And I was just like, bro, these kids will never get that experience because of fucking how like strict things are. Yeah. Instead, y'all are shooting schools up. Fucking. That's just wild. Bro, there was literally like that shit where they had to like shut down fucking... The school, like, not too fucking long ago. How was it? Like, two weeks ago? It was two weeks ago, yeah. That's just, just wild. Maybe, like, a week and a half. And then, like, my, my brothers, like, told me that fucking our old school, they bitch fucking has had lockdowns, like, a lot lately. They have it a lot, but then, again, motherfucker never pulls the trigger. It's just, like, a threat. So, they have yeah, to lock it's it Yeah, a down. lot of that. So, like, a lot, like, in the span of, like, I can't even remember how many fucking lockdowns we had. Like, not, maybe, like five if that like i don't remember having that many even we had more my whole high school like we missed more days of school from like a snowstorm than a fucking shooting yeah and like fucking or a lockdown that's been like my nephews had a shitload i don't know how many but like has had a from like what my brother told me has like a shitload of like just lockdowns of like dude you know it's and then like he like my nephew's calling and be like hey this is what's going on he's like He's like, is it an active thing or is it like a test he's just like no it's actual like lockdown i'm like what the fuck? <laughs> the wild to me. Like the the most like. Do you think that's why? Do you think that's what the causation? What? The, because we restricted things a little too much for kids. They like they feel too trapped. No. No. No, that's definitely not it. It's just like because like we we I remember like there was a couple. I just of, don't like, think kids nowadays can incident. handle their shit. Yeah, they're know. overly overly sensitive. But I I think that's more because of nurture than nature. <clears throat> well, it's well, because that, guns well, were and also when nature. We were, yeah. Well, I mean, also, no, they right? were. We had students pull guns on other students, but it was always they were all like, it was a beef between them, and it was outside of school. We kept it on the, we kept it in the block, not yeah. at the school. <laughs> yeah, it was like now, like it's just more like they just fucking. No, it's pop just because like guns are more readily accessible now, and most, and I, most I don't even know if it's it. that. I feel like it's just the the, the fucking a little bit because of internet. <laughs> well, yeah. It's also because like you, this like whole like how people are like uh, it's an like extreme thought. Like process. that, like, and at the same time, they're like they're they're fucking. I wouldn't say idolizing, but like they'll they see how like it just gets on the news and shit like that. And yeah. I feel like part of it is just like that, where they're just like, oh, maybe I can fucking no that and like guns are just an easy solution to whatever their problem is. That, so if yeah. they're if they're fucking beefing with someone instead of just fighting them, like you know, I like this is what but do you think back then? That's what I'm saying. Like our generation, when things were getting rough what was the first thing we mo- mostly did did we whip out a gun no we fucking fought each yeah. other <laughs> or I, I for we, me i was like if i got bullied hey boys you guys want to get high that day <laughs> fuck that <laughs> or no, something like even. that no, no my thing was like hands. if if you were fucking talking shit we're no, throwing no like hands. i'm saying just in bu- in general like if you're just getting bullied not like physically bullied just in bu- in general because there's been some kids that pull out guns in school shooting and it's just because they post shit online I'm like, bro, do you want to just turn off your phone and like hang out, go get high or something? Oh, like you that? mean like they, they're just. They too- don't have like an outlet. Like they, but I feel like it's because we've. I think I we talked about it. They, the social aspect of like kids nowadays is so different. Than I don't, so I don't, weird. again, I don't think they're pulling guns out and shit because of uh, like clout or like they want attention. They're doing it because it's an easy solution to a, a, a hard minor to fix problem. problem. Yeah. Uh. So they're like beefing with someone instead of just like fighting them or just fucking ignoring it. They'd rather just try to kill him with a gun then i'm like that's the thing like it's it throws me off because i can i can understand i understand to the extent of like you feel like school is everything at the time i was like because i remember like i wouldn't say like we thought that it was like our end our be all but at the same time it's it's just just the thing that you it's your world you're fucking doing this fucking eight hours for fucking uh, how how long do you go to school eight eight hours eight Eight hours hours for for fucking five days days. days a week so you're there all the fucking time it's a work it's fucking (laughs) it's it's your work straight Yeah. yeah So you're like constantly there, and I'm just like, and you feel like there's no escape. But at the same time, I'm just like, bro, the, like being like gone for like so long now, I'm just like, the, this is minor. Yeah. <laughs> like your yeah. shit is fucking, you didn't get a fucking date with Susan? Congrats, bro. I'm single and I'm fucking 20 yeah. seconds in. But realize this, like, again, that's why I'm saying like the funny part that I think is like when we reflect on our years in high school, some of the stuff that we just like look back and we're just like bro why the fuck do you do that we're like fucking so much more innocent compared to what motherfuckers are gonna look back on now like again there's gonna be a kid that's gonna be our age and they're like wow billy really uh couldn't handle a dislike and shot up the school 
See, like, and that's I don't it. even know the. Meanwhile, our school was like, oh, homegirl was being like, girls threw shade at her behind her back a lot, so she lied that she had cancer. Just, like, did you see? There's just, just a little bit of a difference. How do you get from I, I'll, I'll make, I'll get their sympathy to I'm a bust the cap in them <laughs> right there again so like, like it's said, just like why an easy so, it's an easy <laughs> solution for such a minor problem i'm like dude the the extremism that like, y'all thought it, has gone it, through that is literally weird. shows the whole like spectrum of like how fucking kids aren't ready for shit yeah and it's just like and i'm just like and that's what i said like kids parent. kids these days are worry about this shit. <laughs> kids these days are way too sensitive and they find easy solutions for very minor very minor issues it's like their access to things is just so much more. Yeah. Like I mean, easier. I, guess. I remember when I was a, a tutor at, at Mac. Um, I mean, this was around the time the whole fucking clock bomb shit was going down. <laughs> I think this the is fuck like was clock bomb shit. The kid that brought the digital clock oh, that was yeah. assembled and, and thought then it was a tried, bomb. Yeah, they they like, again. This really pisses me off the way they try. Oh and then he tried to frame it that it was a racism he, thing. It's not even. It's not even that. It's. Not, I don't care about the fucking aftermath. It's just like the thought process. Not even. It's just like this kid really tried to say he made a digital clock into a briefcase when all he did was just rip out the. He just ripped the shit out, and then just taped it. Up. Cut it all. Cut a fucking sm- a, a small like hole in, and then just taped it together. That's not building shit. You just put one in. <laughs> one, you just put two things together, and then it looked like a fucking it's bomb. It's, you remember when like the fucking meme where like they're just shoving shit. You yeah, that's the, essentially the what shape he, thing. Yeah, it's essentially what that's he what was doing. You know, just like it's not creative. You You're put not a intuitive. Shape into a shape. <laughs> you just ripped out a digital clock and then put it on a briefcase because you cut a hole in it. That's all you did. That's not in, that's not innovative or anything. You didn't like solder the parts you didn't get the fucking pcb board you didn't do you didn't do shit you just <laughs> no grab, programming you yeah you just grabbed the digital clock and just plastered it on the briefcase this shit was so stupid hey, you say that but as a kid i still remember watching a classmate open a book that he actually cut the hole out of so he can play his game boy advance and i was like that's this motherfucker's a genius that, oh that's, my god <laughs> harvard that's, that's more MIT. smart that's more smart in the terms of like he's trying to hide the play a game but this kid didn't he just but tried all to, he did was just open a hole and shove something in yeah, there but like, that's, I mean, yeah. this is essentially what he did i mean yeah but like you know that's more of like he's trying to hide the fact that he's playing games this kid really tried to pass off his fucking briefcase clock as his like big thing when all you did was just put two and two together <laughs> i got the ooc he's got the fucking <laughs> the turtleneck he's like guys be prepared for innovation <laughs> and then white screen he puts the thing on and they go oh my god it's a bomb he's <laughs> the like ivory i bring you today the ivory <laughs> oh but and then another oh, this is actually a crazier story when careful uh, they'll lift it because the clock will fall off <laughs> shout out to that that whole situation though that ended up being a joke that i used for stand-up <laughs> So I remember I wasn't allowed to talk to uh, talk about it because this is because like, yeah, my kids would be like, so what do you think? It's like, I'm not I'm not allowed <laughs> to talk about it. <laughs> it's like it's a tragic thing. We can't talk and about then it. My, my way to get over it is like, I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm not allowed to talk about the stupid briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about the entire stupid ass situation. I'm not allowed to say nothing about it. I can't put my own dumb ass opinion on this stupid ass clock. <laughs> and they're just like, we understand. And I was like. <laughs> Cool. So, no more questions. like for real, what's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, but uh, one more story is like, uh, so around that time, Tina was also uh, a tutor, mm-hmm. and she tutored at Bowie, and she didn't believe all the shit I told her that happened at <laughs> Bowie until it was on the news. What no. happened was one of her students or one of the kids in that classroom was arrested because she had, she had, uh, fucking what was it? She had Xanax. She had weed, and she had... I think she had crack on her. And she I love my stuff. old school. At, <laughs> at, 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 a middle school student had three different types of drugs. Hey, bro. And was arrested for it. And you gotta I think, hold it down. <laughs> hey, man. Math three is hard, okay? No, bro. Th- you said that at the Mitchell Cotton down the street. <laughs> I'm gonna say this again, dude. Bowie, Bowie Hey, man. Kids? You ever had <laughs> a Topo Chico hot? <laughs> that shit slaps. Dude, I'm, I'm just saying, Bowie kids... Outside of like shit. a very small number of them, were all fucking stupid. Oh yeah, I can say this because I went there all three years, and you are also stupid. I was also <laughs> very stupid. I was just actually just super fucking lazy. I yeah, just did not dude. give a shit. It's always funny you to can't... hear you guys reflect about middle school because like Bowie comes off as like such degenerates, and then yeah. meanwhile for me and Nguyen, our experience at Lamar, we were just like fucking nerds, dude. Yeah, we're, dude. We were hanging out. And we're just being nerds. Bro, we had girls trying to fuck a teacher yeah 
We also had. We I also mean, that had, happened to us too, bro. The best thing is the girl. Apparently, the guy teacher that all girls wanted to fuck was married to the girl teacher at our school that all same. the boys wanted to fuck. No, this, no, no. This like, guy was married to the 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 uh, choir lady. I think. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was just like uh, that cracked me up was when they finally like I think it was Day with the Viking, or whatever. It was, is that what it was called uh-huh. when we went to the high school? Yeah. yeah. They just the two teachers just walked up and they're like, "Oh hi, honey," and they kissed each other and then walked away. And it wasn't even like on the lip; it was yeah. like on the cheek. And this side where all the buoy kids, all the girls were like, <laughs> <laughs> and the Lamar side, all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, bro. And then fucking. So that happened. So tying it back to the fucking what I said about the whole like uh, Edison and like fucking Fuzzy thing where like the shit that they would get. These girls would give that lady so much shit, bro. Like they were attacking this lady. I'm just oh, like, yeah, dude. you're just going through puberty. I'm like, Leave this I'm married like, couple alone. I'm like you are you are fucking like you are like. Like fucking what? Like and this is thirteen. Why sh- I know this motherfucker S- this is, is like twenty eight. If your SO's dating or uh, best friends with a, someone from the opposite gender, don't do it because <laughs> they'd be crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're like barely thirteen. You this man is fucking close to his thirties. You there ain't no way in chance Probably unless you try to fucking wrong. handsome looking ass. Dude. Yeah, yeah, handsome but it's like <laughs> but it's like you you about to try to make him catch a case. I there know. ain't no way you fucking waiting. You waiting <laughs> the entire prison sentence for his ass to come out. <laughs> He's like, no, no, nah, no. Nah. He gonna be fifty. <laughs> yeah, you, you fucking chill the fuck out. I don't know, but yeah, guys, this was another episode of Five Steady Thoughts, <laughs> bro. You know, at my uh, high school, we had student teachers, like teacher aides. Mm-hmm. They came in for an internship, and it was two dudes, and the one of the dude was an alumni here at that school, and he was like coming in feeling like real hot about like I know the turf and stuff. Yeah, and the other homeboy was like the six foot five. Fucking vampire weekend looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> warped tour. That was not, not warped tour. That no. was peak. That was peak. Uh, fucking the hipster. Oh, the yeah, peak yeah. hipster look. The hipster like, look. Wore a wore a scarf for no reason yeah. in summer, bro. And yeah. you know, and the worst thing is, you know, like that that shit was gonna. As soon as he walked in, you knew the bitches would be into him because he did. He like, you can tell by his demeanor. He had a tie. But it was never tied all the way up. Like it was oh always kind of slight, slightly <laughs> oh loose. God. But then when you actually talk to him, you're like, bro, no, he is just a bum. He kind of just doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, no, like, he's mm-hmm. like, he's very airheaded and yeah. that shit. He walked in and straight up, I heard of one girl straight up go, fresh meat. And I was oh like, my God. y'all just prison this shit? <laughs> this is a grown man. Y'all prison him? <laughs> I'm going to make him my bitch. <laughs> and them bitches. He going to hold my pocket. <laughs> and them bitches flocked to him so hard. And then the best thing is the only reason he, like, find, like me and him got close or, like, cool with each other was he was, like, a student walked up and she was like, wow. And he, she put her, like, whole body on him. She's like, you're so tall. And I was like. Mm-mm. He just looked at me. He's she like, she puffed up the you know, titties a little you know, too much. That day. You, you know my pain. I was like, yes. Except <laughs> I won't catch a case if that happens. <laughs> Someone's going to jail here, and it ain't me, dude. And the best thing is, some of the guy teachers were a little jealous. That's just creepy. That's bro. just creepy. Bro. That's they were just like, fuck. they're just like, why does he get attention? He's not even that handsome. And I was just like, dog, you're like 56 years old, and this motherfucker is actually close enough. Of an age, he's coming like, from a high like school 22. that uh, that's happened. It's fucking weird. No, yeah. he was twenty one. Oh, he was twenty. Yeah, then because like, yeah, I remember he came to school finally one day. It was like a Thursday, and his he had glasses on or like sunglasses when he got to the school, and he took them off right away. And the fucking bloodshot eye. I was like, so twenty one was a good day. He was <laughs> like, I, yeah, my friends really wanted to party. I was like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let us know if you enjoyed uh, this episode. Give us a like, comment, subscribe. As like we're also on every social fucking thing. It'll be down in the description. I'm pretty sure no one will do it or not. You'll figure it out. Uh, no yeah. Wow. Follow uh, us on uh, Twitch. We stream every Tuesday and Wednesday, and maybe sometimes Sunday. Probably not anymore. Tuesday, though. Wednesday. It was Tuesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday. I really don't know our schedule. And you give new and flag for fucking it up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and show on. It's me, me. Tibby. Tibby, but I haven't, I haven't played New World. <laughs> oh, also. Yeah, baby, but you, know uh, you got those sensu got... beans. And then uh, we going to see you live. Oh, you, yeah, you know how he got the bitches away from him finally? Turned out he was married the whole time. Nice. nice. I was like, cute. All right. Peace. <laughs>